Inverting chords is pretty simple, and it works very similar to inverting intervals. You take the lower note, the bass note, and you move it up so that it's no longer the lowest. Let's take a look at the C major scale as well as the C major chord, our first triad. This is what's called root position. It's actually not inverted at all. But if we take that C and we move it up an octave higher, the E will now be our bass note. The numbers on top represent the scale degrees, and the numbers on bottom represent the distance from the bass note. So E is now our bass note here, and it's still the third scale degree. Also notice that the Roman numeral 1 now has a 6 next to it. This is how you represent first inversion. And the 6 is actually quite simple. It's kind of the same concept as a 7 chord, but there is an interval of a 6th from the bass note, E to C being 6. When we do second inversion, we're also going to take the E and move it up an octave. Now, our 1 has a 4 and a 6. Take a listen. Next, let's invert a 7 chord. Let's invert the 5-7 in this key. Notice we're building this chord off of the 5th scale degree. First, let's take the G and move it up an octave. Notice we have a 6th and a 5th above the bass. Next, let's take that B and move it an octave up. When you put a 7th chord in 2nd inversion, you're going to label it a 4-3, of course, because we have 4 and 3 over the bass note. Now, let's put this in 3rd inversion, where we move the D up an octave, and the 7th of the chord is now the bass note. In this inversion, we have a 4 and a 2 and our F is in the bass. 